I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I know that sounds very bad. I'm not a mean person. My honor is like very high, but oh, Driscoll's? Goodbye. Well, been a pleasure. John! Hey, what are you doing here? No. Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I win. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur. It ain't. I had a goddamn plan! Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen to me. <coughs> I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh... A fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. <laughs> oh, oh, you're uh, so boy. Well, Archie, what we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Thank you. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Oh, this breaks my heart. Uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Off is dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. He's just a... <sighs> it's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? Here, take this. I can't do it. I I, I just can't. You won't can. bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, well you're a good man. I just Didn't wish you'd done do it the... before he worked himself into the grave. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. <laughs> sad money. Yeah, take my sad money. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just dandy. Hmm. Just get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. No, I know. Things are going well. Oh, that's good. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing. You take care of yourself, Arthur. <gasps> kiss on the cheek. Got a kiss on the cheek. A bull gator? It's huge! Oh. Oh. Okay. What just happened?
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided then. I'm gonna go freshen up. Yeah, this is exactly how a horror game would start. Offer, but, uh... Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some so room sweaty. in your trousers. Mm, that smells delicious. <laughs> The food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was... when we was kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Mm. Mm. Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks! Don't look yeah, at me like I that. definitely use a drink. <laughs> me too. God, what is... what is happening here? Oh no, it's, it's a wolf man. Is this Mowgli? I caught it. Oh! oh. Penis! Might as well put him out of his misery. I'm blowing myself up. Oh, f I no, I can't. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Did he die? Did today is my birthday? No. The way you rise today. We took off before the sunrise and father had me carry my own shotgun. I thought and thought it was heavy. I did not complain. Father begged for head. Father begged for head. He did what? I'm afraid of this pen near the end of its ink reservoir. Reservoir? 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 So does the rest of me. Last afternoon I ran across a literal pups. And one of them came and licked my hand. It was a fine moment. I'm... I am so sorry. Partner, you don't uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... No, like he's stringing us along. I know. He he really shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> Tell the truth, 
I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. That is true. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yes, yeah, if so I can do the side quest after I finish the main. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. There was no need to harm them. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. Oof. This ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. What's happened? No! No! They destroyed everything! Oh, no. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and get your chin up and no one will be any the wiser. Try not to hurt anyone. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. Oh no, Sadie. Cole O'Driscoll is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. <sighs> But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisk. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life. Oh, let Oh, a letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that <gasps> Mary. Mary? Mary? What is that? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. What? And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. No. You got a fever or something? I, it's too cold to dress like that. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. 
forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Ouch. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> that was a beautiful scene. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. Uh -huh, I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Jack. John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. Oh, but I don't like he's, he's saying goodbye. When the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean it. Help them escape when I... You know, you and me... Don't say we're it. ghosts and people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. What is she doing? Well, she finally got her revenge. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. You hear that? I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. We, uh, we should get away from her. Oh, hello. He's here. No. Can I take him home? You got this one? What are you doing, Arthur? <laughs> the whole fort is on lockdown. What is going on, Dutch? 
What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. They try to kill my people for oil. Oh, wow. For oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me. Ride with us. My only boy. My precious boy. Do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan. After you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles? Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. All right. Let's ride out. One of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick, somebody help no. him. No, no, go. Please hurry. Help me. Come on. Let's run. Oh my God, this is epic. Arthur, get up. Thank you. All of you. We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Oh, that can't be good. He got one! A white one! Death! I need help! No, 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 no. What the f help? You saved my life. More than the Dutch just left? You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job. But well, we got a whole lot of money. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. I'll stay with you. And me. Of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Bring him to me. Rest a minute. Wenn ich besser Englisch könnte. Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. 
Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Ugh. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I've always a goddamn train. Arthur! <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it. Let's is that the last? Up, gentlemen? Did, did, did he just snap? Is he gonna snap? It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now. This is starting to piss me off. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. But me and the boys know yep. we need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Well, I guess that's that then. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. John and take this money to take Jack. And you wait a copper headland no, for isn't. Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, yeah. Why do I feel like All you're right, saying Arthur. goodbye? I'll, really? I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Uh, fuck that, son. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. <laughs> I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. I knew it you was a picked him up, and you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength. 
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milk. Oh, thank God. Oh. Horrible man. Oh my gosh. I thought he was going to die for a second. Arthur, there's no tab. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Go on, get out of here. Saying goodbye to Arthur. Only just to burn. That's the way. That's the way. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked yourself into the grave. Sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Did I just crash into a... <laughs> oh, no. My immersion. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, for sake. That's the way. That's the way. Like where this is going. You saved my life. You're a good man. Thank you, fellow. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Got long. Hurry! We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Blacklung? You believe him? 
It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. That's bullshit. I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Ah! Now! <laughs> Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Bell, I'm here. Think, think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. That was tense. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. What's he gonna do now? Goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Bobby is bunked for less bunk. Yeah. At least it wasn't a tree that killed her. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Arthur. Come on. Let's go. You go. Keep. Push it, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. It was now. 
I'll hold them up. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur, go to your family. Arthur, get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Yeah. Despite my best efforts to stop it turns out I won. You can do it. It's right here. God damn you. It is over <laughs> now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <coughs> talking crazy. Up there on the ridge. I gave you all I had. I did. Uh. Uh. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. Kill him. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. I 
I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Oh, thank God. Oh, I was afraid he was going to shoot him. Different books, then. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. Oh, John! Not a bad influence on oh, John! Mother, oh, my God, oh, John! Sorry, sir. What's your book? Oh, no, I'm gonna show that. 